Hello, in this video series, we're going to take a deeper dive into cost and 5D project management in Synchro than in the fundamentals course. We'll start with the first video being a introduction of the concepts already covered in the fundamentals, and then we'll move on from there. In this video, we're going to cover how to add costs in the two main ways in Synchro, one of them being via the task directly, and the other being via a resource, which will end up being visualized and grouped at the level of the task. So let's start with that. To add costs in Synchro, it's always a good idea to be able to visualize them as you're adding them. So for that, I'm going to right click, customize columns, and add some cost columns. Now, they fall into two branches, cost and EVA, and you can remove the search to explore those uh, separately, or you can simply search for what you think should be added and then investigate from there. So for example, I type here cost and I can see actual direct costs, actual total costs, budgeted direct costs, and budgeted total costs and many other parameters. Uh, in this video, we'll focus on budgeted direct costs and on budgeted total costs. And after adding those, I'm going to move them closer to the name so that I can see them easily in the schedule over here. Also, it's a good idea to show the EVA graph, although right now it's pretty empty, but it will populate as we're populating costs in Synchro. Now, the first and easiest way to add costs is to simply type them in in the budget to direct cost. So I'll take an example, for example, foundations activity here. I can try to type in 2000 bucks and hit enter, and I can type in here 3000, and I can even uh, fill down by holding that cursor and dragging below. And you see it adds up at the level of the parent. Now I can't type in anything here because we'll explain that later, but this will show the total costs, including indirect costs. Now by typing this here, automatically we see the costs adding at the level of the parent, but also we see at the level of the task for the earned value graph, the costs rising from zero to 2000 for the duration of that task. We can zoom in and pan. Now, as you select more tasks, these straight lines resulting from each task will sum up to eventually become something like an S-curve. Now, if you don't like the fact that the uh, earned value graph shows the selected scope, you can always right click here, choose tasks and show all tasks or filter tasks. This way you're always seeing the big picture, even if you select a single task. For this video, I'll keep this at selected tasks. And we'll talk more about this later. Now, these are direct costs. Before we move on to indirect costs and therefore the total, we want to talk about how these costs are added. Right now they're fixed. So if I go to task properties over here and then to the cost icon over there, we see the cost that I just added, new cost fixed. Now, if you want to add a cost that is variable, for example, duration based, you can change it to hourly or daily. If I choose, for example, daily, then when this duration of that task changes, for example, from 10 days, so automatically this is now 20,000 because the daily is 2,000. And if it changes from 10 days to five days, then the costs would become less, like 10,000 over here. I change it back to 10 days and 20,000. You can also have hourly partial and hourly complete. I'll change it back to fixed for now and go back here. Oh, actually, I didn't change it back to fixed. I'll change it now and over here as well. And change that back to 3000. So we've covered fixed costs and duration based costs for tasks, direct costs. Now let's cover indirect costs. Now you can add cost to a existing resource that is assigned to a task and that works, but for simplicity's sake, I'll add cost to a new resource and then assign it to some tasks. And similarly, how we showed in task properties cost, we're gonna be accessing resource properties cost to do that. So I'll add a human resource and I'll call this general labor. 
And for that resource, I'll go to the costs. And you have to select an effective date here because the costs may change over time over the course of a project. So I can choose the default date, which is in the 70s, and add a cost. Let's say it's going to be a uh, daily cost. You can also do per unit. I'll explain that in a bit. And let's say a daily cost of 1,000 bucks. And maybe over the course of the project, so let's pick a date, today's date, and it's going to change to a daily cost of 1100 So that's how these costs per resource can vary. Now, these are not affecting anything in the schedule now, but if I assign the general labor to maybe these sets of activities over here by simply dragging and dropping, we see now that the direct cost is different than the total because we have some extra costs. And we see that it's a good idea because now we can modify the cost in one place and have it change in multiple areas. So we've basically covered uh, generally resource costs. However, we simply glossed over per unit. What is per unit? And if you're familiar with planning at all, then you use that very often. You go to the task properties and resources from there. And here you can define how the resource is linked to the task. So this task, for example, uses a general labor, but does it use eight hours per day or does it use 16 hours per day or does it use a fixed number of hours? So we change that and we see the cost change. I'll change it back so we can notice it better. So right now it's at 42,000 and I change it to six. It's back at 17. You can also have a fixed date fixed number of units and rather than 60 hours let's say this is going to be 120 hours and we see the cost change now later on we're going to cover how to uh, change that in bulk for multiple activities and how to even automate this using a script and leveraging the quantities that come with the model uh, but for now this is a good start and i'll see you in the next video If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.